Do you guys see that little spider? Oh my god, do you guys see it? What is up you guys? Welcome back to my motherfucking canal Bienvenidos a mi segundo video de este año You guys, si sí, escucharon bien No les está fallando las orejas Mi segundo video, you guys Yo sé You know what? At this point, I'm not even gonna fucking put up a fucking excuse Or a front Porque tiene de día ustedes no me creen Like, oh my god, you're going through it A ustedes les vale verga Y no me creen So I'm not even gonna tell you guys an excuse What I am gonna tell you though Es que déjenme subir cuando yo quiera I'm just kidding I'm kidding, okay? Hoy, como pueden ver, you guys, les traigo otro pinche vlog. And today is a vlog full of a lot of shit. I don't know what the title of this video is gonna be because I'm gonna be doing a lot. But today, tengo un chingo de cosas que hacer. Primerito ahorita, you guys, es súper temprano. Son las 8.52. Me levanté a las 8 de la mañana. Me and my amigis, Annette, are going to our pre-op appointment for our chin liposurgery. You guys remember last month, I talked about very briefly that me and Annette were getting chin lipo together no, but today is the pre-op and the surgery is next week you guys in una puta semana Voy a ser otra puta persona. Last night I was talking to Annette. We both realized that this is my first fucking surgery. Pueden creer eso, tanta belleza y ninguna cirugía me ha hecho. Eso es lo que se llama belleza natural. No muchos lo tienen, pero yo sí. Ah, just kidding. It's all like this, right? Looks like a fucking mosca muerta. We're gonna go to our pre-op. Basically, this appointment, you guys, is gonna go over everything we need to know before the surgery. Obviously, this is a surgery that isn't as simple as me just getting injections. You guys have seen me get injections plenty of times. This is actually like an invasive surgery. Like they're gonna, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh my God, just lose weight, bitch. The point is, even when I was at my skinniest, you guys, siempre he tenido como una double chin chiquita. So I basically want to get that shit removed completely. Like, completamente fuera, bebe. So I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my God, you gained weight. It's gonna look the same. I did gain weight during October, November, December. But you guys remember how I told you that I started my weight loss journey? I started it this week and I already lost eight pounds. I'm getting back to my skinny Allen eyes routine you guys because I had fallen off but a bitch picked himself up. Yes amiguitas es parte of the journey. You know what I mean? Like I feel like sometimes people be like oh my god he had a slip up like his journey's over. No mijitas. My journey would have been over if I slipped up y nunca me levanté pero yo si me levanté mijas. That's what me and I are doing right now. Después de eso amigo chas my dogs have a little grooming session at 12 o'clock y luego después de eso tengo otra Puta appointment to laser away, you guys. Para estos pinches pelos de panocha peluda. I haven't gotten my laser treatment, you guys, in what feels like months, but it's actually been like two months now. I've just been really busy. It's been so hectic. So I just haven't gotten. No tengo tiempo, so no me culpen a mí, eh, yes. I just haven't had time. So today I am, you know, picking up where we left off. And I will say, you guys, because I haven't had my laser treatment in like two months, my pelitos um for my carita have been growing a little faster than normal. And I I feel like that is because I abandoned the fucking treatment. So, mi culpa, mi culpa, por mi grande culpa vibes. I'm gonna have my fucking first meal of the day or whatever. Mm hmm. Vieron bien. No les están fallando los ojos. My first meal today is chicle. Mm, hold up. Mm. The flavors. No me puede ser un healthy desayuno esta mañana porque tenía que salir en putiza. So, I'm gonna trick my mind to think it's eating because I'm chewing on something. Para que la hambre se me baje poquito. No tengo tanta hambre. If I'm being 100% honest, actually ni tengo hambre, but you know, just gotta keep tricking it until my lunch time. Because I'm not literally gonna be able to get lunch until later. Imagine when I get my fucking little lipo, like all this bitch. Gone to the trash. To my ass. I'm just kidding. Cuando me miren en persona, me miren con un pinche culazo, corpazo. Van a decir que me agarré la lipo en el cuerpo. Pero no, amigas. 
Yo sí quiero agarrarme una, un body um, surgery, pero ahorita no. Si le soy honesto, I was supposed to get it this month, like my body surgery. No se hizo because um, I gained weight. So obviously, I can do the surgery right now, but no quería because I was like, no, mija. I have to be at my lowest. I have to feel the best to look the best. So that's why I decided to like postpone my body surgery till later. So I feel better about myself. So I lose the weight that I gained. Para mirarme the best possible. All right, you guys, aquí estoy con la amiga. Mood is it? So we're here, you guys, at the Image Center offices. We're gonna do our little um, pre-op. I really don't know what the hell we're gonna do today, but I'm sure it's gonna be like the signing of your life away vibes, like the, you know, pagando anything we need to pay. But we're in here. I'm so excited. So this is where we're going, you guys, the Image Center. We're going to the fourth floor. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm this nervous. is like our, my first surgery, you guys. Annette's. Yeah, I, I was tripping out. But are you scared for this one or no? Yeah. Or are you kind of just like chilling? Mm -hmm. You had worse ones, so. Yeah. Jane, we're so excited, you guys. I'm a little nervous. This means that literally our surgery is in one week. So I'm just gonna put y'all right here. So y'all can be in our little like pre-op appointment with us. It's a really common procedure that we do here at the Image Center. And so a lot of our patients are wanting definition from their face to their neck. And so a lot of other plastic surgeons, what they do is they target this double chin. But patients like, you know, both Alan and Annette, you guys want that definition, right? And so yeah. that's what we do. And so what we do is we make a small incision here, right underneath the chin, and then we're gonna go ahead and inject the cannula into here, and it's going to define the jawline. Okay. So super, super exciting. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about the instruments that we use. And so a lot of times people just use the traditional liposuction method. For us, we use a machine called PAL. So it's, it's power-assisted liposuction tool. And it helps to kind of vibrate and shake up the fat a little bit. And so the fat that comes out is better quality. In addition to that, what we're going to be offering you guys is the Renuvion. So the Renuvion is a skin tightening device. Really, really awesome. And so because you guys are young and you know, you have skin, tight skin, yeah. great collagen, yeah. more than likely a regular liposuction of the neck would be sufficient. Um, but again, we want to offer you guys the right. best of the best. And so we're going to be adding on the Renuvion treatment for you. I love that. And so Yay. super, super easy. Um, a lot of times patients do this under IV sedation, meaning that they're kind of awake. Right. It's like a twilight. Right. Um, but if you're a little bit scared or a little bit nervous or anxious, yeah. uh, we highly recommend that you go to sleep. So literally, you go to sleep, uh -huh. wake up, and you're all done. Uh -huh. I prefer to go to sleep. Same. She's like, sure. you go to sleep, you wake up, and you're snatched. Because I don't want literally. to be traumatized. Dude, we're going to wake up next to each other. Like, what did we do? Oh, my God. You guys. With our head wrapped. <laughs> Oh, wait, are we gonna already wake up with it wrapped? Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, waking up after surgery is so crazy. Yeah. This is like my first, well, yeah, like surgery. No, it, is. it is, right? Yeah. Is this called like invasive? Yeah, yeah uh-huh. It's my, it's oh my real god. surgery. Yeah, it's a sure. real surgery. Oh yeah. my god, I'm scared, but I'm excited, you guys. <laughs> Yeah. But the first week is the most crucial. Okay. And right. so we're going to give you Arnica and Bromelain. Those are both oh, homeopathic pills mm -hmm. that help to accelerate the healing as well. Okay. So we highly recommend that you start it two days before and we'll give you all of that today. Mm -hmm. And then we recommend that you finish it. I'm just going to go over it really quickly, but in case you guys forget, it's, it's written it. down in your guys' right. folder, okay? Take this two days before your surgery, once in the morning, once in the afternoon for both of the medications. No, at night. Nothing at night the day of surgery obviously you won't take any medications just because like i said we want you guys fasting but continue to take it after the surgery until you finish both of the bottles again arnica will be your guys' best friend for the next few weeks so question so we have our surgery next wednesday we'd start taking these monday morning i would start taking them sunday sunday uh -huh. i'll take them sunday mm -hmm. sunday just an extra day just to you know take that arnica or you guys can even get like arnica tea as well I'm sure you guys heard of Arnica, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you guys can take that as well. Ahorita lo que vamos a hacer is, you guys remember how I told you guys that I'm going to go get my laser done on my carita because I haven't gone in a bit? So I have that at 2 and it's like 1 o'clock. 
I have that at 2, but it's like 1 o'clock right now. But voy a aprovechar to go to like a dog bakery because my puppies turn one. Y les vamos a hacer un pastelito, una fiestita. Muffins coming. The only one that's not going to be at the party and the only one that didn't get invited to the party will be Ralph. <laughs> yeah. Because Ralph will literally like... He hates me with a passion. Dude. He I literally hates him at... I don't know why, dude. The other day I was just chilling, dude, and he would look at me through the fucking door. Like he was minding his business, having his playtime, and he would look at me and he would fucking run up to me, dude. Like it's door. not it's not even like a cute run up, like oh la, it's very like looks at her, makes eye contact, and goes, ah! Yeah, he's like, like I fucking that. hate you. It's very bad. And honestly, Ralph is not really good with other puppies, so obviously we don't want him to harm. I think um, he's just very protective. He's really good with his puppies and like the ones at the house, mm -hmm. but he won't be good with like Muffin. Muffin. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go get the doggies a little treat and like a little cake to celebrate their cumpleaños. We made it. We're at this dog bakery. I actually, it's really cute, yeah, huh? It is so cute. It is so cute. And you know what's funny? I looked it up and it wasn't really far from my house. It was literally like eight minutes away. It's a little dog bakery oh mood our mask oh shit i think i have some. oh my god look the perrillos oh look you can actually bring your dogs Aww, that is so cute Moor. this is so cute you guys yeah so those are our frozen ice creams we can always do a cup or a box of four and then these are our everyday cakes it's a five inch round it's shredded cheese and peanut butter flavor and it goes for 26.99 and that needs to be refrigerated yes yeah okay. if you're driving anywhere probably no more than like an hour to two and then it does have to be in the refrigerator up to four days oh my god let me see i didn't even see they have little oh hats I want that cake, baby. Okay. Get that cake. You're not gonna take that long. Okay, hey, then. Hey, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back. Other, other one, other one, other one. Buy that first, for? and I'll give you oh, money for that. Mood? You guys, look at this. <laughs> the Don Julio! The Don Julio! Okay, bye, 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 bye. I'm getting them this. And then, obviously, they're going to decorate the pastelito. And then, Mood, you got those. Dude, those are so cute. And then, I'm going to get them a little pastelito. This is so cute. So, they're about to do the little um, cake. Like, write their little name. Oh, my God. God, you guys, look at that. So I'm here at Laser Away. Nos van a hacer nuestro little tratamiento. I'm just here for support. And it's just here for more support, y'all. see that little spider oh my god it's right there let me kill it oh my god do you guys see it oh my god gotcha bitch <laughs> we just got back peaches come on mama Peaches, hurry the fuck up. I like uh, how you got the mail and then put it back. Oh, it's because it's not for me. Oh, <laughs> it was for Danny. So, we're getting the dogs groomed right now. And if you guys don't know, my dogs get groomed by Espino underscore grooms, which is basically like a port. What is it called? Like a portable or a traveler? Like or a traveling group. They travel groomer. Like, vienen a tu casa and mood peaches. She's I love okay. peaches, you guys. She literally walks without like a leash. Mama, mama, keep it going. But we're here with Espino. And they're grooming our perillos. You guys, look. Oh, man, look what the, how they're doing their hair. You guys, look. Oh, you know that today it's their birthday. Both of their birthdays, you guys. Today is Bonnie and Max. Oh, look at him. She'll come. Meet you. Peaches is scared because she knows she's mood. She's like, I'm gonna go get a haircut. Mood, Daddy! <laughs> look, look, dude. She is like, oh, hell no. Dude, look at how Max. Oh my god. Max. I love Oh, you mean Bonnie looks. No, mommy, I can't. But look, this gives me very, like, rave vibes. You know, like, with the... I'm gonna put a little picture here, like, the little socks because they put in for the raves. But Max is really good, huh? Nothing. 
you guys and how about how peaches ran for her life bitch ahorita te toca peaches you're not gonna run away she hates getting her hair groomed <laughs> she was like thank god it's not i'm not gonna get it done and Muffin's gonna get it. And Muffin too! Party's about to start! It's your birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Look at her! Look at her! Mama, don't move Give me a hat, hurry back. You have to wrap it. Oh. You have to wrap it. Like twice? Yeah. Oh, it is big! <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. You have to wrap it twice. Oh. Their party treat. Their little party treat before the cake. Mood. Oh, mix mess. Oh, mug. <laughs> love that. Tell you better than that. <laughs> Do they love this party? Ah. Do not peaches. <laughs> peaches is like, I hate this party. <laughs> I had to cut it up for peaches. You like it, mama? Good job. It's really squishy. Wait, but what are you saying? Cake time. There's only four, right? Guys, treat, treat. It's too big, you know? Come on, yeah. come here, treat, oh, treat. Dude, she's just eating. Oh, she's gonna eat it. Treat. Put it on the phone. It's your birthday cake. cake. time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.